All right, we're shedding some light on the importance of storytelling this morning. That's because a local nonprofit called So Say We All is celebrating its 10 year anniversary as San Diego's first nonfiction storytelling organization. Here to tell us how to attend their open mic sessions for a chance to share your story is the founder and executive director of So Say We All. Justin Hudnell. Justin, thanks for coming. In hey, this thanks morning. for having me on. I appreciate it. Tell us exactly. I mean, there's a lot to to, to wrap around <laughs> our right, heads right. Are, around here, right? Tell us what is so say we. Sure. All. Well, let's start off. It's not storytelling for kids. We love that, but that's not what we do. So mm -hmm. um, we're an organization that allows anybody, and we mean everybody, to hone their story. We workshop with them. We make sure they don't fail. They get up there and they tell their story the best they possibly can as a form of entertainment to a live audience. So. Uh, we like to say our purpose is to help people tell their stories and tell them better. Because if somebody else tells them, they probably won't tell them as accurately exactly. as they Exactly. If you don't own your own narrative, somebody else is going to try to take a shot at it and they'll blow it. Is this something that is written out and then they get up and read, or is it something they might write and memorize and do like a, an open mic stand-up? Yeah, thing? we have more than one show. So one, uh, the one that's going on actually tonight at Kava Collective, long story short, anybody can just stand up and tell a true five-minute story on the theme, no notes. And then at the last Thursday of every month, we have a longer form program called the Vamp Showcase, where you submit, we write with you, we make sure everything is ready to go, and you're sick of us, but the audience loves you. So that's how that works. How many people at a time are we talking about? Here? We usually do about eight to ten at a go. Uh, sometimes, though, when we work with City College or High Tech High, we get a whole class of 50. Right. A lot of stories out of there. I bet. A lot of different dynamics. Absolutely. Huh? What, what do you see as, uh, what, what kind of stories do people most like to tell? Is it personal about their experiences, or it's something they've come up with? Or what? Yeah, you know, after 10 years, I'm still amazed at the honesty and vulnerability people bring to the stage, the poignancy. Um, a lot of it doesn't necessarily make the storyteller look very good, but I feel like there's this need to connect. It's almost like a, like a secular church, that confessional, where they just want to unburden. And there's something about that live audience of strangers that makes it easier than maybe telling friends, lovers, children because of that judgment. You know what I mean? So that, that, that live moment gets rid of that shame and guilt, and it turns it into laughter and applause. Mm. And I mentioned to you off camera that my mom, who's in her 80s now, recently took a creative writing class, right. and she's absolutely loving it. It really is. It's not just for young, but it's for the, anybody. Oh, no. And the older you are, the more stories you have, right? Yeah. So that's a guarantee. But yeah, no, it's for everybody. Um, we encourage anybody to get involved. And it's uh, a very populist art form. You don't need to be an actor. You don't need to be auditioned. You just uh, come and get involved and meet your friends and neighbors. And it's 10 years you've been doing We've this. We've been doing this 10 years, yeah. And you said something very interesting to me before we came back from break. You said, you, re having done this, you regret not having talked to your grandfather yeah. more and having him write things down his World War II experience. Absolutely. I mean, our programs are for everybody, but we also work sp specifically with groups uh, that have been talked about more than heard from. Right. And veterans are a huge one in San Diego, sure. and I'm a military family kid, so... Really, like working with uh, so many veterans over the years, it really became a poignant thought to me that I really wish I'd got to my grandfather sooner. So if we can help somebody else not have that regret, that'd be awesome. Yeah, sure. Well, let's talk about the event. We're going to put the information up here. This is tonight, right? Yeah, long story short is tonight. That's correct. Uh, you can come down to Kava Collective, meet my friend David Latham, who's running it. And again, anybody who wants to tell a true story uh, can get right up there, put their name that in a hat. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Five bucks. $5 suggested donation. We're a nonprofit. It all goes to help us uh, fund our programming, education, outreach. Um, we have a uh, annual, we're actually every semester we work with City College's students, so that'll be coming up downtown at their Seville Theater. Those are some of the greatest stories you can hear. And then the last Thursday of every month at the South Park Whistle Stop Bar is our VAMP Showcase. That's our signature show. Um, come now. If you see this show, you get an idea for it, and then maybe next month you'll get on stage. What a great opportunity. Justin, thanks for coming in and sharing with us. Thanks so much for That's having great. me. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Can't Love wait it. to meet your mom. <laughs> <laughs>